Hey there, coffee lovers! My name is Ken Hopkin. I'm the store manager of the Starbucks in Chestfield Commons in St. Louis, and I would like to talk about coffee. But before we discuss coffee, let's talk about coffee. Okay, so to be more specific, let's talk about the word itself, its origin and its nicknames. So as it turns out, the word coffee was given the Arabic name kahwa, which means to delay. This was in reference to how the early coffee wine concoction had the ability to delay sleep. And over time, the word modernized to what we call now coffee. But we use other words to describe coffee, so how about Joe? So this actually started in the World War I era, where Secretary of the U.S. Navy, Joseph Daniels, executed a strict moral code on the Navy. The restriction on alcohol was included, and as a substitute, stewards increased their coffee consumption and called it a cup of Joseph Daniels, or a cup of Joe. Java, on the other hand, is more or less a nickname for coffee because of where it was grown. Consumers used to refer to coffee by its origin name like Mocha, Java, etc., and Java only really caught on because at the time it was one of the world's leading exports. Now let's move on to something that gets you even more jazz than coffee, espresso. So there's a lot of speculation on how this term originated, but it's most likely called espresso because it speeds you up. But the term also could have come from the idea that expressing something, such as coffee, means to squeeze out all of the flavors. Now, the letter X is not considered a part of the standard alphabet of the Italian language. Otherwise, we'd most likely be calling it espresso instead of espresso. So whenever you hear someone say espresso, they're almost right. Almost. Speaking of espresso, let's talk about the way most of us ingest it, and that's in a latte. Now in Italy, latte means milk, so if you order a latte, you'll get a glass of milk. But latte has actually become short for the term cafe latte, which in Italy means coffee and milk. Cappuccino. In Italian, this term means little hood, and many think it's in reference to the little hood of foam on top of a cappuccino, but in reality, it's in reference to the color of the hoods worn by the monks of the Capuchin order. But make sure if you're in Italy, you follow the social norm and don't drink a cappuccino after 11 a.m. And at last, Americano. In Spanish American, this term literally means American coffee. And in many coffee houses around the world, they actually only brew espresso, so the best way to make American coffee is to add hot or cold water to the espresso. There's an urban myth that American World War II soldiers didn't have the palate for espresso when stationed in Europe. So they asked baristas to water down their espresso and make coffee that they were used to, but in reality that's false because the term Americano didn't become popular until the 1970s, 25 to 30 years after World War II. So that sums up my first episode. If you have any ideas on a subject about coffee that you would like me to discuss, please leave it in the comments below. Next week I'm going to be diving into the wonderful, wonderful world of caffeine. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.